Welcome back everybody to TechPress. Today let's dive into the topic crucial for building a customer trust and credibility. How to add trust badges to your Shopify store in 2024. So customers want to ensure when shopping online and trust badges can make a significant impact. So let's get started. First of all, let's identify trust badges sources. Uh, the first things first, you want to identify the trust badges you want to use, whether they will be from a payment provider, security servers, or customer reviews, uh, platforms have any value of trust badges can instill confidence to your customers so choosing the right placement by going back here into your Shopify I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started truly for free today so once we are here into a Shopify the very first and easy way to add trust batches and totally for free is to first go into apps if you click into the left part it says app is gonna be scrolling all of this so what I want to do is to focus into the upper side click into search and here I'm gonna go for trust batch it's going to be opening a new tab directly from the app store of shopify what i wanted to do today is to look out for the trust badges for the bill so as you can see here is into the third part now usually you can try with another application one or two you just want to make sure that the developer is uh verified has really strong reviews and really strong rating and of course that the price is totally for free so after you find the application you're looking for hit now into install today let's try with the trust badges that the build so in this step now we discuss the importance of choosing the right placement for your trust badges whether it's on the product page or the checkout page or the folder strategy uh exploring various options to suit the story layout so i'm going to hit into install the application and now i am already inside the actual application now what i wanted to do is to get started by adding batches into my store i wanted to create batches and later on i can just uh, add those directly into my store so as you can see here have the ultimate trust badges so today what i want to do is to focus into creating something uh totally new so let's say that first of all i needed to enable this batches into my store i'm gonna hit into enable this one should be enabled like that and as you can see i have like a bar preview i can hit into select batches and i can add for example paypal shop a I have to pay uh, Apple Pay, whatever. In this case, I just only enable the elements that I am actually accepting into my store. Later on, you can add more if you want to. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave those like that. Payment on delivery or maybe expert advice are the elements that I do want to see into my secured bar like this. Check out how the actually bar preview looks. So later on, I can change the batch color, for example, something bluer. You can add a custom margin if you wanted to, but in my case, I'm just gonna leave those like that. Check out how they actually look card, original, mono, uh, or a mono card. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this like that. Uh, maybe try to go for something like this. It actually looks great so far. So I have now my custom margin. Here's my animation. I have this light in, or I can change this by pop it like it, and there we go. Now I'm gonna copy my ultimate batch so i copy my product page i'm gonna back into my store i'm gonna locate my online store now i'm gonna focus into the section i wanted to paste my uh stuffed for example in this case i'm gonna go for this down boson hit into customize and look out for a specific product let's say for example this original uh section we click here into let's say the first one and now as you can see here we where we go so let's say, for example, that I wanted to add the trust batches at the very uh, bottom part of, of, of all of this. So let's go here and add a new block or to add a section, applications, trust batch widget. If you wanted to edit your batch to make this uh, smaller, whatever, I can go back and focus here and to the batch size desktop. Let's say, for example, small or extra small, uh, the bar size mobile, extra small, and there we go. Check out how it actually looks. Go for the three dots and go for preview. This is how, lastly, you could get into the preview and the optimizing. Before making your trust batch life, it's crucial, guys, to see how it actually looks your product when it comes to um, publishing your actual product, which in this case, we actually did something with this. I'm gonna scroll a little bit down and check out that we have now the secure checkout below the buy it now button. It actually looks really, really great so far. So guys, there you have it, how to add trust badges to your Shopify store into the 2024. 
Now if you find this tutorial helpful guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify tips, hit that notification bell to stay updated, remember you have the link down below in the description so you can all get started to release free. Thanks for tuning in, here's the building trust and boosting your sales guys, hopefully we can all see you next time, until next selling.